Hello Nintendo Wii here. Today we're going to be looking at Sonic 4 for the iPhone which was released today. It's released next week on the Wii and the Xbox I do believe. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at Sonic 4. Okay here it is, this is Sonic 4. see what it's like. People have been expecting great things from this game and I don't think it's due out for a while but I've managed to get it early. This is the iPhone version. I'm halfway through a level here. I just tried it earlier to see what it's like. You've got the analog stick in that corner which lets you move left and right. You've got the jump button on this side. The graphics are sort of 3D but it's still side on. I really don't like the way it does that when you go around the loop. It spins the camera around, it just looks really weird. The controls are a bit awkward to, uh, to get used to, at least, anyway. You've got a home and attack if you uh, jump and then press the jump button again. So, like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. You can do your spin dash, but with the iPhone, it's a bit hard to control because. Everything's on the touch screen. As you can see, the first level is pretty much like the first level in every other 2D Sonic game, which is a, a Green Hill Zone ripper, basically. But it seems quite nice. The camera could do with moving out a little bit because you can't really see that far ahead. I haven't tried a special stage yet. Let's see what this is like. Life. That's good. Nice little original Sonic sprite there on the loading screen. Tilt the device right and left to rotate the screen. Tap to jump. Guide Sonic to the Curse Emerald as he rolls downward. So it's just like the original, except you have to turn the machine around. I if I can go through that. Oh, I need four more rings. And I think we've got an extra life or something. It's a bit long. Come on. It's a bit slow for a Sonic game. Oh, there's the emerald. Go! Woohoo! Special stage clear. And then another extra one. There's no play zone. Act one to three in each zone. Oh, so you get to choose where to go. Okay, let's try Casino Street. Which is probably like the casino one on Sonic 2 with the pinball table. I hope it is, I like that level. It looks the same, more or less. I'm not sure if I like the graphics or not, the, the realistic 3D Sonic sideline. I guess they did that with Sonic Rush, but it's a little bit different. There's a weird rolling animation when it's on that spring. Boy. That's really weird. Checkpoints are there. If we can get to it. That's better. No. It is a bit awkward to steer. Damn it. Go with it. Whee. 
Mm -hmm. The music's also fairly irritating. There's a slot machine just like the new Sonic 2. Come on, three Sonics. Woo! And the special stage. We've seen a little bit of Casino Night and Splash Hill, so let's have a look at Lost Labyrinth, Act 1. This is clearly based off um, Labyrinth Zone and Sonic 1, which has really good music, so I hope the music is fairly good in this one. Sort of similar. There's a spring up there, can't reach it though. The whole game seems fairly slow compared to the classic Sonic games. Maybe it's, they've put more platforming in, I think. I think they definitely need to try and fix the camera because I, I couldn't even see where I was going, going then. Maybe that's just because it's the iPhone version, on the consoles it might be easier to see where you're going. The animation's a little floaty as well, which is a bit odd. Oh, that was close. There's a checkpoint. Whee. I haven't seen any item boxes yet, but I presume there are some. Oh. Ah. I didn't time that right, I don't think. There was, a, there was an item box. Good. Damn, these controls are really irritating.
Got to get a ring. That's it. Oh, extra life. Okay, I'll try and do it better this time. No. I don't know how you pause. Oh, quit. oh, there we go. Let's try a different stage. There's only one more to take a look at. That's Mad Gear Zone, which I think is based off um, Death Egg Zone, or oh, one of the left ones like that, Metropolis Zone. They're all the same. Ah, I need rings. Damn. That's better. Oh, I just really don't like the way the loops work. Why did they do that? Why? Whose idea was it to make the screen spin round by that? Oh. Oh, I got more back here. Whee! A bit like on Sonic Rush, one of the the levels with the the steam that comes out of things. Same as that. Oh my god, it really is based off the top list so maybe a little too much. Checkpoint. Pretty cool level, I like music. Good jump. I think I'm getting used to it now, it's pretty good. Impressive for the iPhone at least. Duh. Whee! Go! Don't get hit by those flights. Whee! Let's fly. It's pretty cool, I, I like the graphics, they make it look really exciting with all the smoke stuff and the backgrounds really detailed. And although I'd seen the trailers and I thought Sonic looked a bit awkward, I think the movement's not that bad really. That was a bad jump though. And I think we'll end it there for this preview. Uh, I won't go any further, I've shown you all the levels there are, so... You can make your own minds up whether you think it's any good or not. Thanks for watching.